Hey guys, so you may remember me as the funny kid who reviews and destroys stuff, but today I'm going to be doing a review video, and that is that I'm reviewing an old piece of tech? I know, I know, it's pretty old, which usually isn't what I would usually go for, because the secret formula apparently is wearables and tech plus a new piece of tech newer ish but this we're going to be going to the past where we're going to be blasting to the 2000s <laughs> That's right, the 2000s, and this piece of tech came out in 2001, and guess what? I have the digital voice recorder. Now, let's unbox it. Now let's get started reviewing the 2001 Olympus WS3 Digital Voice Recorder. to the UI of this thing. You have your controls, the stop button, the record button, the up, down, left, right, and OK. That also acts as the plus, minus, volume buttons, and your rewind and fast forward, plus the play button, which is also the OK button. There's the erase button right here. And there's the scene and index button. There's your text here, the digital voice recorder WS803. Then we have the menu button and the list button. So let's just get into the UI of this thing. Wait, pause. Before we move on, I just want to say that I'll be accepting Q&A questions for one more week. Plus, I'm now going to accept them here, alongside with the other video. The other video's link is in the description. So, let's just get into this. So, first thing that we have is recorder. Next is music. Next is calendar search. If you want to search up all the past recordings. And the FM radio. Who knew that this had a radio? <laughs> now let's just get into the recorder thing. You have uh, six folders. Folder A, folder B, folder C, folder D, folder E, and the radio folder. Let's actually do one right now. And I'm busted. So this is the second time I unboxed this because I actually used this before, so yeah, I just basically ignore it. But, let's just start a recording and let's choose the folder. Hmm, folder C. So this is basically how you record, so you just press this. Oh, this focus thing is a mess. So this is basically how you record voice recording, so you just basically press this button, and we're recording. So this is your time in minutes and seconds. You have this cool recording indicator. There's one in the front, and there's one in the back. Pretty cool. So you can let your friends know that, that 
it's happening. You also get uh, this little recording thing. I don't know what that's called. You also see the folder that you're recording in. The recording format. MP3. I think that's 128 bit. I don't know. But you also get the storage thing. I do not know what the heck that is. I think that's to show how much time you have to record. So I think that's 74 hours, 31 minutes, and uh, 55 seconds so far. You also get uh, that little thing and uh, the audio levels. I'm gonna have to turn on the backlight. I'm gonna have to pause the thing to show you that. But yeah, as you can see, that's the uh, audio levels. So that's pretty cool that it has that. And yes, it says 74 hours and 31 minutes. I think that's what it says. Ugh. Yeah, it's 31 minutes. There's the recording thing, the what recording number that is. Your folder in. I think I explained this. Oh yeah, the top here. You'll see the you'll see the battery status. Right now it's on alkaline. When you set this up, it'll ask you for the battery type and the date and time. That's basically it. And the recording name. And now I just want to bring out a special message to all of you guys, which is Please don't subscribe if you only want Olympus voice recorder content or any other voice recorder content because I may not be doing this again. I'm just gonna stick to what I really like doing the most. Look at that! A lot of tech review videos on the Olympus voice recorder has been happening online as well, so that counts. And so with that, I'm out of here. Peace. Wait a second. So if you're wondering, how are you going to be able to get all your voice recordings to your computer? Well, you can't just share it via AirDrop. So, it's a process. Alright, so here's the process. So once again... You can't just share things via AirDrop, because it's a voice recorder. How are you going to even do that when it's not even Apple verified? So I first just pop out the USB connector and plug it in. After I plugged it in, I just switched it over to PC mode. Then I just went into my computer and clicked on to the voice recorder. I clicked recorder, then the folder. I dragged all the voice recordings to my desktop. I'm using stacks by the way. But it doesn't end there. I wanted to transfer the voice recordings to my iPad, so I put the micro SD card into the SD card reader and plugged it in. After the MacBook Pro read the SD card, it's called No Name by the way, I just clicked on it, clicked on music, again I'm using stacks and just dragged them in. Hey guys, welcome to day two of this review. Right now, I'm outside. As you can see, whoa, so bright. Now, where was I with this? Oh yeah, we're continuing on with the Olympus recorder. It was off, so I decided to turn it back on. I know, right? Eight gigabytes with 74 hours of recording time. What folder are we on? I am guess we're in folder C. If you guys don't know, this has an external mic port. Let's just plug in one right now. There we go, got an external microphone plugged in. Now, let's do a recording. That's right, I'm gonna clip it on 
in my shirt pocket. And there we go, as you can see. Let's just turn the mic on. And in three, two, one. Hey guys, so we're right now recording with the Olympus with an external microphone plugged in. So, how am I going to be able to listen to all this? I'm just going to unplug that. Oh yeah, some headphones. And the Beat Studios. Plug this thing in and have a little listen. There is also music. I will show you a YouTube audio library song. You know what this one will be. I love that, that the text is so small that it has to scroll. <laughs> Let's just play it. Huh, not bad. Let's turn it all the way up. Oh yeah. Let's plug in the headphones. Oh, shoot! Okay, that's much better. <laughs> oh, man. I did not know that this would be the same volume when to plug in the headphone or speaker. Alright. Got a good load of that. Now I'm just gonna show you that. That's actually the first day that I started an audio recording, as you can see. Let me just zoom in and show you the Olympus screen. Actually, the you can't really see the backlight that much since we're outside, obviously. But yeah, I recorded some things on June 5th and 6th. Same goes for June 8th and 20th and the 21st. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean like one, two, three, four, five days of voice recordings. But the final thing I want to show you is the FM radio thing. Get out of the way, you lanyard. You can't actually hear it from the speaker because you need to plug in headphones, but it has a built-in radio. Let me just plug in my own speaker. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. Now let's plug it, plug her in. Oh yeah. This can also do recordings from the radio station that you're on. It's pretty nice that this Olympus has this. Wait, what's that? What's that you're just saying? You're saying that you're Olympus needs charging since your has a rechargeable battery. There you go. Now I'm just gonna grab my Justin battery pack. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. You just switch to AC adapter mode. And you're now charging. And so with that, thank you guys for watching the 20th wearables in tech video. This is your first episode. Welcome. It'll definitely get better. You should still watch the other 19 episodes to catch up, though. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Wait, did you hear that? That's the mailman with what I'll see you guys later with. Bye.